Hello friends, this video on some natural phenomena part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. See how lightning occurs. Now the first thing, just think about it. When does lightning occur? So do you think that you wake up in the morning and it is a bright sunny day and suddenly lightning occurs? No. Lightning generally occurs when there is a thunderstorm, when there are clouds in the sky. So you do not see lightning without clouds. So there is a close relation between clouds and lightning. So lightning occurs due to accumulation of static charges in the clouds. So that is why we have been talking so much about static charges, static electricity. Because here also the basic reason behind lightning is that a lot of static charges get accumulated inside the cloud. Now how these charges are getting accumulated inside the cloud? Now even inside the cloud, there are winds which are blowing and these winds are really turbulent. Now as wind blows, there are many small bits of ice or there are, there are frozen drops of rain, the raindrops that is the water droplets. So all these things keep moving along with the wind because the wind is like moving haphazardly here and there even inside the cloud. And the cloud, how are the clouds formed? They are nothing but the water droplets. They are only all together forming the clouds. So these water droplets, so they along with the air current, when the wind is blowing along with the flow of wind, so these water droplets which are present in the bottom part of the cloud, the water droplets are carried by the air current to the upper side. So it, this is how they are moving along with the wind, right, so along with the air current. So the water droplets are getting moved from the lower part of the cloud towards the upper part of the cloud. So they are going to a greater height. And there the atmosphere is all the more freezing as a result the water droplets are getting freezed. Now once they get freezed so the ice is coming down and again water is going up. So it is like since the wind is very much turbulent inside the cloud you have lot of water particles, you have lot of uh, uh, small bits of ice, you have frozen raindrops and all of them are bumping on each other. Now when these droplets they strike with each other all these collisions create electric charge so they are also all small small charged particles so when they collide so they create electric charge so over a period of time what do we observe so over a period of time it is seen that the entire cloud is filled up with electric charges and they are they have been segregated in such a way that the top side or the top layers of the cloud are, have all the positive charges and the bottom layers of the cloud have all the negative charges. So that is how the positive and the negative charges they separate each other within the cloud. Now we know that opposites, opposite charges attract each other and negative charges they repel each other. Now since the bottom portion of the cloud is negatively charged, therefore what happens? Anything which is on the ground, they tend to have the positive charges towards this side because all the electrons, all the negative charges on this side, they tend to go away because similar charges repel. So what is left over on this side are the positive charges. So all the tall buildings, the tall trees, everything will have positive charges on their upper side. Why? Because the bottom layer of the clouds are negatively charged. So the ground below the cloud is now positively charged like the trees, mountains, buildings, etc. Now what will happen? There will be attraction between these negatively charged particles and these positively charged particles. Now due to this attraction what will happen? These negatively charged particles want to come here and these positively charged particles want to go there. So in between they will strike with each other and this attraction will cause the electric discharge. So when these particles, when these charges, they strike against each other, there is a spark which is produced which we see as lightning. And this is the basic cause of lightning. So that is why we say that lightning is nothing but electric discharge. That is discharge of electric charges. 
Now, and this happens over a period of time, like first formation of clouds take place. Now, when sufficient amount of cloud is formed, so you have sufficient amount of water droplets and frozen raindrops within the clouds. Now, along with the air currents, they will all collide with each other, electric charges will be formed. So, the charges will align in such a way that the lower part is negative and the upper part is positive. When that happens, then you can say that the entire setup is ready for lightning. Now there are many different types of lightning which take place. Now some of the common types of lightning are, the most common ones are the cloud to ground lightning. That means the negative charge. So here you have negatively charged particles and here you have positively charged particles. So because of the attraction of these negatively charged particles at the bottom layer of the cloud and the positively charged particles on the ground. So that strike is known as that electric discharge is called ground cloud to ground lightning and this is the most dangerous type of lightning because it can actually cause a lot of harm to uh, life as well as to property because the temperature that is involved in lightning is very very high approximately the temperature is around 54,000 Fahrenheit and it is it is very high it is almost six times hotter than Sun so you can imagine how hot Sun is so it is even six times hotter than sun. So when the temperature is that high, it ends up burning everything. So if the lightning strikes on a tree or a building, so it destroys that entire building. So, he, so this is cloud to ground lightning and it is the most dangerous type of lightning. The second type is the intra cloud lightning. Intra means within. So anything that happens within something that is intra cloud. Intra cloud means within cloud. This is the most common type of lightning but it is not dangerous as such because it happens within one cloud. So here you see this is one cloud. So in this cloud also you have negative charges here and positive charges here. So because of that so due to these differences, so within the same cloud only there is some electric discharge because these positively charged particles gets attracted towards these negatively charged particles and they strike and a lightning is caused. And how do we see this lightning? We can also see this lightning but this type of lightning, intra cloud lightning, they just appear as a bright flash of light which just flickers. So it, it's not that strong and it does not give that much of light as cloud to ground lightning because we are looking at it from the ground. So we just see some flickers of light in the sky. So that is intra cloud lightning and it, and it keeps happening. That's because every cloud, every small cloud will have its own positive and negative charges and therefore the discharge will take place within that cloud. The third type is intercloud lightning. So here we are talking about two different clouds. So the ground is not involved here. So when you have two different clouds, let us say this is cloud 1 and this is cloud 2. So in cloud 2 you have the bottom part all negative charges. In cloud 1 you have the top part as all positive charges. So when the positive and negative charges they exist in two different clouds. In that case that type of discharge is called intercloud. Inter means between two different clouds like how you have intra school competition that means within the school competition is between different classes when you have inter school competition that means the competition is between different schools so here also inter cloud is means it, the interaction is between two different clouds so here what happens is what is there between the two clouds the space between the two clouds is filled with air. So the strike travels in the air between the two clouds. Basically, these charges will travel in the air. These charges will also tend to travel in the air. So the strike actually happens in the air which is present between the two clouds. So these are the three most common types of lightning. And the most dangerous is cloud to ground lightning. And this is the type of lightning which we see most prominently. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.